Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to see another interview experience uh, round or basically uh, in this question I have uh, mainly covered the HR round questions that are being asked in Mindtree interview experience and uh, there is another two there are another two videos in which I have uh, included technical and managerial rounds so this uh, now this video will be uh, especially for HR round questions so if you are also preparing for Mindtree interview and have uh, upcoming interview schedule then you can prepare from this video so let's start the video now so first uh, before that if you are new to our channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the latest notification of all the uh, uh, interview preparation videos and job recruitment videos apart from that <coughs> you can check the playlist section of the channel so that uh, you can uh, check company wise interview preparation series now let's move on to our first question so the first question in HR round questions of my interview is why should I hire you? So the answer for this can be I am very flexible kinds of person and feel very comfortable in teams as a contributing member and I am confident that my contribution of practical work experience and solid education knowledge will provide your organization a productive employee upon completion of your development training. So as we all know that uh, a development training is given in MindTrue. So this answer can be given uh, like keeping in mind of that. So I've covered basic answers for each questions. So if you feel that these are not uh, up to the mark on you have some better answers, you can say that also. And uh, but the duration of like the length of the answer should not exceed too much because that will be too lengthy. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next question now. Mark yourself or tell me something about yourself. So this can also be a first question. So how you can say this is I am XYZ. I am pursuing my final year in computer science engineering at XYZ engineering college. I maintain a CGPA of 88.9% 8 or whatever it may be your CGPA you can mention here. I completed my schooling in XYZ with 95% in 12th 90 and 93% in 10th. If you feel that uh, you don't have a good percentage to speak then you can skip this line I always believe in hard work and I go with words of addition genius is one in percent inspiration and 90% perspiration I am very dedicated to, a to my work I can adapt easily in to any kind of environment and that's where my strengths stand I like to believe I, I like to creative my hobbies are listening to music playing cricket so you can mention hobbies in one uh, line and apart from that if you have a good quote that you can say you can also include that as we can see here my short term goal is to join a software company as a programmer my long term goal is to become a project lead within five years also add details about your family so if you have if you feel like you can say something uh, some good lines about your family you can also include that mention a strong points or strength adapting to the new atmosphere and grasp things at a great place positive attitude workaholic and flexible person i always believe in time management and believe in making things happen above all my greatest strength is self-confidence i also have qualities of enthusiasm persistence punctuality so these are some some of the uh, good qualities or strengths that i have mentioned in a single answer so if you feel like uh, if you have some other good qualities you can mention accordingly uh, accordingly in your answer moving on to the next question what are the changes you can bring into a company i am industrious innovative and willing to adapt to changes in work i get along well with people and can promote good team play which will lead to a good working environment so basically uh, here it is very important while sitting in the interview that you always speak about team play and being a good team member because uh, whatever uh, actually happens is uh, uh, you need to answer it accordingly so that uh, you might get not be rejected and uh, the chances of interview interview for you to uh, get selected will increase moving on to the next question where do you want to work at our company uh, i have learned much about the best practices followed at the company seniors from our college have told me about the company the best of training state of the art infrastructure and the company has the best environment to work and it's a better platform where my ideas are recognized and encouraged 
tips if you are not nervous in the panel you have 90% done so this is the most important thing because if you are nervous then uh, you will stammer and uh, all of your answers even though if you are saying it very nicely uh, they will not be get getting imparted to the other person so first important thing is to not get nervous and give your best moving on to the next question can you work night shifts and weekends so in most of the questions this question uh, in most of the interviews hr interviews this questions will be asked so you have to answer it accordingly so i know how important for a company it is to complete work on time before the announced deadlines if it is necessary to work at night and on weekends then i will work without giving any second thought my stand is to be flexible working with any shift timings so i would al i will also suggest that uh, you also say similar answers because it is not a, a suggestible way to answer it straight away no because if you say so uh, it will give a negative impact and uh, you might not you might get uh, uh, you might reduce the chances for your selection i can say moving on with the next question what is the difference between confidence and overconfidence given an example so confidence is an inner strength that make you achieve anything you really desire to achieve whereas overconfidence is something that turns this inner strength into weakness since excess of anything is bad you can also answer this way are you willing to relocate or travel yes uh, i am very much willing to travel or relocate as it is as it provides me the opportunity to work in a new environment where i can meet with people coming from different culture and learn new ideas techniques that can enhance my career goal within the organization to have a very long and successful career with the same organization it's necessary or imperative to understand the work culture and functions of the organizations in different locations so you also would like i would say that you also say in this similar way that uh, yes i am ready to relocate or if not you can um, frame your answer in this in this way give me an example of your creativity and innovativeness Uh, i have a creative imagination whenever anyone describes a situation place or person built i built an image of it in my mind this helps me to recall and understand things well also mention some of the innovative ideas you are going to enforce in your project so uh, it's totally depends on you uh, like you have to give some uh, examples of of the time when you were being creative so you can ex- um, mention the example of your uh, college project or anything or anything volunteer activity that you have done where you have in, included your creative and innovative skills so all those things you can mention in this answer uh, apart from this uh, there can be many hr questions that can be asked in the similar way it just to, it just depends that how you are answering it it doesn't matter that what you are answering it because it uh, the answer may vary from person to person but what matters is what is your body language and how fluent you are while speaking the uh, while giving the answer how long will you work for this organization so in a, you can answer it in this way i am here because i want to be a part of your esteemed organization and want to grow in this organization by contributing my skills i will work for the organization so as long as i can meet the requirements of the organization so you have to basically praise uh, yourself as well as the company that you are no, no longer thinking of uh, uh, a particular time frame you you want to be here as much uh, as you can uh, so i would suggest don't give a specific time frame of like one or two years this doesn't give a nice impact so the next question is how long will you work for this organization okay so we have seen this one why do you say that you will not do higher studies now so all these long years i have acquired a lot of theoretical knowledge and i believe that it's the right time to make those knowledge counts by earning practical experience from a esteemed organization and i also believe that my higher studies will have a lot of integral values with the experience that i am going to acquire at the workplace so you can also answer in this way because it is not suggested that you say that you are looking for higher studies even though if you are but uh, you should not men- mention them because they might think that if you are already planning for higher studies then you may leave com- leave the company soon and they might not uh, select you so you can answer in this way why do you say that you will not be doing higher studies now so another answer for this can be sir i am expecting the salary according to the company's norms designation and industry standards so this can be another answer for the, the same question and this can be a very simple and short answer if you want can you lead a team on your own as a fresher how and what are the strategies you, would you enforce to run an effective team gladly i would be interested to run a team as a fresher 
as the leader i would know the strengths of each team member and get the best out of them initially i would call them to inform the nature of the job assigned and deadline would be set for the entire project i would be constantly monitoring with motivation from all the ends i believe things will happen so you also can say that because this answer shows that you have leadership skills and given any leadership task you can perform them so that's all for this video these all were some of the hr questions that from the mind tree interview experience that we have gathered apart from this there will be another uh, part of this video in which uh, uh, more of the hr questions of mind tree interview experience will be co covered and uh, to watch more such videos you can check the playlist section and access similar videos thanks for watching and all the best for your upcoming interview